Hey guys, it's Brenda with Vintage Adventurer, and I've got a haul for you this week. Um, most of this is from last Saturday when I went out to the garage sale Titans, but I did stop at Goodwill on Wednesday and the little tiny thrift store by my work, I think on Tuesday, and I got a few things. I'm gonna start with the haul, with the items that I got from the thrift store on Tuesday from my thrift store. Probably the best find, and I almost didn't go there. I was, I just needed to get out at noon. So um, I took off and I found this item, which was one of the best scores of recent times. This is an Escopa Sterling uh, bracelet with, apparently this uses ancient Roman glass. Um, this is like a purple amethyst color bead in the center, but really nice metal work and the safety chain's all tangled up in here, but um, it has, oh boy, I made a mess of this now, didn't I? But let me see if I can bring this up to show you the, I could barely see the 925. I can see why they didn't um, notice it. There's the signature right there. It's upside down, A-S-C-O-P-A, -S and then there's a 925 on the left there. <clears throat> um, but these are quite uh, collectible, apparently. Um, some go in the hundreds of dollars. I could not find a comp for this bracelet. Oh, there we go. Um, there's the safety chain, and then you slip this toggle through. So, yeah, I was really happy to find that. That's a good score. It's pretty weighty, and it's actually quite a nice bracelet. Well made. Um, I think they're made in Rome, maybe? I don't know. I need to do a little bit more research on the company. But that was probably the score of the week. Then I got a vintage... Um, Leather wallet. I've done really well with these kind of rockabilly 1950s wallets. Um, this one has a double kiss lock. It's got like a little inspector stamp in there. And then you open it up, it says genuine cowhide. It doesn't have a maker, but there is a little credit card, licensed credit card and photo holder. There's a zippered pocket in here. I guess that's a bill pocket and it goes down into that compartment. But for a buck, um, that's a good find. I'm going to get that listed on eBay today, I hope. I've been listing a bunch of jewelry. So if you like jewelry, get over to my VTG Adventurer at eBay and check it out. Um, the third thing I bought, third and last thing I bought, was this little stained glass... Um, night light really cute with the pansies might be a keeper they had another one I probably should have bought that one too but um, I might put this in my bathroom I haven't decided yet but they're not a big seller it's probably from the 90s from Marshall's um, I paid five bucks for it they had marked it up marked probably a third of what the retail price is but I liked it and I may keep it myself as a nightlight. Then last Saturday, I went to half price day at the Titans. My husband and I decided Saturday morning to go out there. And the first thing I got, I got this for $3, is this silver plated um, music box. And it's got a really nice area for rings. Got, whoops, keeps playing even when you shut it. Oops, that's the photo compartment up there where you can take this out and then put a photo in. But you can see the ring compartment and the other jewelry. This is padded, it's a green velvet. Somewhere over the rainbow is playing. And then you can put your photo in there. I thought that was really a beautiful piece. It's pretty heavy, kind of a chrome. <coughs> Then some of this other stuff has been out here for a while. I don't know if these are authentic or not. These are, these have been out there for quite a while. And 
Um, they appear to be Walter Bossy. Um, this one may have been a shoehorn with a shoehorn extension on it. Um, what did I write? Hertha Baller Inc. Hagenauer Brass, Austria, 1950s. Most of the ones I found online, though, are black. So that's a little bit puzzling. And I guess that in the mid-century, these were so popular, this Walter Bossy design, um, that many other metal companies made them. So I don't know if these are real or not. They ha I paid $12.50 for them, half of 25 but they originally had them for 46. Um, if they are real Walter Bossy, they are worth a bit. Again, this one is missing the shoehorn or the bottle opener or whatever might have gone on here because they don't stand. Um, the mice don't stand either. They're flat on the bottom, but um, I just thought they were cool. For $12.50, I thought, what the heck? I mean, they've been out there for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, but they are very cool. But Walter Bossy, B-O-S-S-E, is the Austrian designer that made these for Hagenauer Brass. So we'll see. I'm not sure. Probably get those up on eBay too. Start them out at an auction and see what happens. Those are adorable. But I think you could hang them on the wall. These definitely, and I don't know if you hung it here or there, but I do really think this is a shoehorn and it had a long tortoise shell shoehorn that went with it, is my thoughts on that one. So I rescued that from its <clears throat> languishing out at the Titans. Then I grabbed a mug tree. This had some little espresso mugs on it, but I have quite a few sets of mugs. So I've got two trees now that I need to marry with some mugs. So for a buck, I've picked that up. I left the espresso cups behind. Didn't really need or want those, but I will get the mug tree. It's nice that it has six. If it was blue, I would keep it in my kitchen. Um, here's a pair of salt and pepper shakers by um, Frank Tea and Spice Company. Paid 50 cents for these. Really look sort of unused. Um, I think the, um, the tops are in really good shape. Maybe spices came in this. I don't know. I couldn't really find any comps online. They've got kind of a diamond pattern on them but for 50 cents i thought heck i'll try them um then i bought another pair of salt and pepper shakers i grabbed these because i thought they were sterling i couldn't read the bottoms but it says baronial plate so they are plated 50 cents a piece for these little individual salt shakers for the dining table these are in pretty gnarly shape so i may try to clean those up otherwise i might i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but yeah, I was kind of disappointed they weren't sterling, but but they are in the shape. These are often um, made of sterling. In fact, I think I have a set over here of those. Let's go see if I can find that set. Here's the set that I have and will someday release into the wild of eBay. Um, these are sterling silver. They come in a little gift box. Again, these were probably available at a lot of grocery store or grocery stores jewelry stores in the uh, 40s and 50s kind of a gift item but you can see let's see if I can find one where you can read the bottom it says sterling right there but these are a little bit different a little taller so be on the lookout Sometimes these are, often these are made of sterling. Okay. Um, another item that I purchased, not sure if this is ironwood. It's a really weird little monkey, I think. Mommy, it's monkey pod. There's, there had so many ethnic collectibles out there over the last few um, 
months they have had, um, they do estate cleanouts at the Titans, and I would imagine that somebody was quite the traveler who's ever estate this came from. But just thought it was interesting. It's kind of nicely done. It's very muscular. It looks like a, maybe it's a monkey C, you know, hiding the eyes or something. Maybe it came in a set of three. Who knows? This was also a nice little piece. I think this was $3, so I got it for a dollar and a half. It's a little flow blue miniature spittoon made in Bavaria, so you know it's old. It's numbered and stamped. Um, it's got some, I don't know what that says, written in sort of a gothic lettering in gold. But I can't find a comp for this either. I paid a dollar fifty for it. I think it's probably something someone will want to collect. But I want to say it says Winwood in this gothic writing, but can't really tell. So that was kind of an interesting piece. That's been out there for a while too, so I decided to rescue it and take it home. Then there's a big cold cream style jar. This was $2.50. Um, has a great lid. This lid is an awesome shape. Usually you find these and they're just kind of a mess. Um, but no cold cream in it. But this milk glass with the press design in it, that'd be really cute on somebody's dresser or in the bathroom with cotton balls or something. But for $2.50, I thought that's worth a try it's on eBay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then the last thing I got out of the Titans was this little Barbie um, cake topper or something. I paid a quarter for that. It is from McDonald's. Um, Mattel, made from McDonald's. Mattel, Inc., China. Um, these are a dime a dozen. I mean, I'm glad I didn't pay over a quarter for it. Might end up in my dollar garage sale, but um, I will try this on eBay for $5.99. I think that's about what they are going for. Clean it up a little bit. But just thought it was cute and thought I would look it up and do a little research. Well, eh, eh. And then Wednesday I was home, so I went out to the Goodwill after getting groceries, and I just stopped there quickly, bought a few things. Um, I forgot what the name of this brand is. Um, I got this for 25% off. It is a copper enamel bell with um, lilies of the valley. I've got quite a collection of this stuff myself. I can show you that. Let's see. <clears throat> got a few pieces up here that I need to thin out. Um, here's the same company with a little floral. Um, this one is on driftwood and it's a little um, daffodil. And then we have this bigger one with the trillium. I thought that was cool. So I try to keep just three, but I've got other little um, birdies and other stuff up here. This guy's for sale, but I put him out here. He's, um, he's the guardian of the uh, animals remember what his name is and I can't see it it's too dark but yeah so there's Scooty hi Scooty poor old Scooty and he's our old dog he can't see or hear very well so then I purchased this it's Otagiri um it's a music box it's very nicely painted no chips or cracks paid $3.99 minus um the discount but I can't quite do re mi otagiri um something greetings and then it's got the little sticker handcrafted do re mi but that's there was a few comps I think Sold for $16 on eBay. There weren't any listed, and there were two sold, so I picked that up. I looked that one up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the final item that I found was this Norwegian um, birch bark box. And this is cool because it has the has a piece of paper in here that tells the maker and 
the history of birch bark boxes, both Native American, Russian, and um, Norwegian. Norwegian. Birch bark, in parentheses, never has been used for making things for many years. American Indians. In Norway, the main uses for birch bark was roofing material and for containers. So here's this little container with a decorative element on it. And then I paid $2.99 less a discount. And then it's got a little wooden top with a little maker stamp. And this was made by Manji Tack, Nicholas, St. Nicholas Craftsman. So I need to look that up and see <clears throat> what is that is all about, if there's information online. But that is my haul. I was not intentionally thrifting. I just happened to run in and stop. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to list, so I've been listing um, quite a bit this week. Listed a couple things this morning. Um, show you, I'm going to do a couple more minutes and show you some of the things that I've listed. I listed some vintage safety glasses. These are made by iTech, I-T-E-K. They do have a little bit of paint down here. I could not get it off. So I just closed that in the listing. But those, I think there were two solds for about $39. Then this, you may have seen these from last week, our little bit, or little bit shop, last week's haul. These vintage made in USA sunglasses, got those up. And make, I'm gonna put those in a Kate Spade case. Couple of flapper necklaces that I bought last week in the haul. These are acrylic, so I'm listing them together. I think I started the listing at like, I don't know, $10.99 or something. These are really pretty in there. I thought they might've been sterling, but they aren't. So those are listed. Pretty much all the jewelry I got last week. Um, What's this called? Oh, yeah, I still can't remember it. I want to say Howlite, but that's not it. Um, but that's listed. The Jerry pin, the clown pin, um, the little sugar tongs from last week. So I've got quite a bit of things up. This little Lee Sands lookalike. Um, the 1980s Margot necklace. The 1990s. Kind of an Art Deco revival. Um, the Bakelite pin, the carved Bakelite and rhinestone pin. Um, the dried floral on acrylic. The little ugly clown with the rhinestone balloons. Yeah, he's kind of faceless, so he's not that scary. The skier pin on pewter, that's ultra. The Sterling um, Extraordinary Life necklace. Whoops, Ooh, yikes. Okay. Well, they're together now. I'm going to have to get them apart. But the liquid silver with what I think are lapis, and then the um, Sterling Extraordinary Life necklace with the lapis bead. They are now connected forever. And what else? Um, kind of another 90s Art Deco Revival pin. Kind of a Memphis or abstract style. And then this cool thing. This um, Red Bird made by Silka. So, if you're interested in any of these pieces, check them out on eBay. I've been busy, busy, busy getting those up. And we'll hopefully work on some of these items today. So... That said, have a great weekend, everyone. Drink water, keep moving, and use cannabis when needed. Bye-bye.